Okay, so today we're going to learn some tricks for matching graphs to equations. The first trick is to substitute 0 in for x, and uh, since x would be 0, we know that the point we find for y has to be along this vertical axis right here. So let, I'm just going to show you an example of how to do this. In this example, we substituted 0 in for x to get the y is equal to 3. Now we know exactly where this is going to go along our vertical axis, because we just count up 1, oh, one 2, 3, and then there it is on the uh, graph. In the same way, you can do this substituting 0 in for y and know that it's going to be along the horizontal axis. Uh, in this example, we have to use a little bit of algebraic manipulation to get the answer for x. But as soon as we do, we see that x is equal to 2. Now we count along on our graph on the horizontal axis to 2 and plot our point right there. Another trick you can use is to look at the coefficient on the x. Uh, as you can see on the red line, when y is equal to x, if there's no coefficient in front of the x, you can assume that the coefficient is 1. So the line for 1 is less steep than the line for 2, and the line for 2 is less steep than the line for 3. So when we're looking at something like y is equal to 100x, what do you think that that would look like? It would be very, very steep, something like this. All right. And in the same way, if we were looking at what a half an x would look like, it would be less steep than 1x. Something like this. Okay. Uh, the third trick I have is to look at the sign of the x coefficient. Uh, as you can see, there's two that are positive. The y is equal to x, y is equal to 2x, and one that is negative y is equal to 3, negative 3x. Uh, as you can see here, the lines that are positive seem to be going in an upwards direction when you're reading from left to right. And the, the coefficient with a negative in front of it seems to be going down. Alright, so these are just three tricks that we can use to match graphs to equation. Now that we've learned, let's play a game to see what we learned today. 